Hello and welcome to Caffeine Zombies with breaking news. Today is July 9th, 2024, and we'll be going over Boeing, United Airlines, Biden, Trump, and missiles in Ukraine. Lots to cover, so let's just get started. Boeing pleads guilty to killing 346 people from their two crashes of 737s that probably should have never been in the air. I did that, I'd be in prison for a long time. A very long time. But if Boeing or Trump does it, they just get charged with fraud. And who did they defraud? The United States. So this isn't really a case about killing of nearly 350 people. It's about lying on a contract with the U.S. government. Great. On to the next story. United Airlines. Surprise. United Airlines at Boeing jet lost its main landing gear. This time, no one died and no injuries, thankfully. Just another sign that Boeing, the company who cares, can't make planes. Since you were worried United Airlines was able to recover the lost wheel, and it is to no one's shock, the United Airlines is also under investigation. I bet this is punishment against the Biden administration for forcing airlines to pay you automatically if they have to bump you from a plane. Speaking of Biden, he continues to stand firm-ish that he's fit enough to be primary candidate, that he can win against Trump, and hell, if he loses... At least he did his best. If Biden is stumbling onto my channel, we don't need your best or your worst. We need someone else. Almost anybody else. Speaking of almost, let's not include Trump in that list. He's back out there campaigning, but that may actually be a problem for him. Support for legal abortion, you know, the thing he helped to squash and is proud of squashing, after it's standing for 50-ish plus years, continues to show up in polling. Over 80% of Americans support abortion in extreme cases and just about 60% support legal abortion for any reason. This doesn't mean we'll see all the politicians turn tail and start supporting women's rights to determine who gets to use their body because it's highly popular amongst the conservative male space to take away women's ability to say no. On that long list of things to be opposed to, missiles are striking Ukraine. Russia launched a group of different kinds of missiles in order to attempt to get past their missile defenses and succeeded. Eight of 38 missiles managed to hit their targets. Just one of those targets being a children's hospital. Meanwhile, Russian misinformation campaigns come out to say, that wasn't them. That's about as surprising as a Boeing airplane taking off and landing without falling apart. Current members of NATO are attempting to make it so that Ukraine can be admitted into NATO and ensuring that the language to accept it uh, makes it irreversible. In fears of a certain someone whose name sounds like Ronald Rump getting elected and giving his buddy Putin everything he wants. Now onto other things we hope never happen again, but probably will. What mass shootings happened yesterday in New Bedford, Massachusetts, on the corner of Russell Street and Acushnet Avenue? Six people were injured. The cause of the shooting is unknown. In Washington, D.C., at the 1200 block of Potomac Avenue Southeast, four people were injured when a person in a blue car drove up and shot four people, then drove away. Check the link if you have information on how to report their asking. And let's end on a controversial topic. Deep dish pizza is the best kind of pizza. After all, eating pizza with a fork is already the normal way to do it, and deep dish gives you a better reason to keep doing it. And who doesn't love forks? Not a single person on earth. Get out of here with your toppings on a cracker thin crust nonsense.